Hey everyone, happy Friday. Yay, we made it to Friday. How are you all doing? I'm tired beyond belief, but I wanted to hop on here on a Friday night and do a little empties video and chit chat for a few and see how everyone's doing. Long, long work day for me. I did manage to go and get my nails done. I changed that pink color out to this other pink chrome color. I just love the chrome. Um, and they were really grown out. I needed it done. But at the lodge last week when I was doing hamburgers and hot dogs, I cut this finger here and I couldn't get my nails done until today because the cut was healing and it would have hurt even more. So I allowed myself to sit in a spa chair and get my nails done and get a pedicure and just let there be a back massager thing in the chair and to do something for me for a change. So it was it was blissful. Anywho, what what happened this week? Just been working a ton. Um, we're, I'm a bookkeeper, so there's like a big tax deadline going on. Today is September 15th, which is a big deadline to file corporate returns for corporate and partnership returns for 2022. So I've been super busy helping people get their stuff done and getting ready for their taxes. And um, my brother referred me to a really great new client who um, my husband used to know back in the music world and who did guitar cases for Rob Zombie. And that was really cool. I got to meet his wife um, over the phone and uh, remotely so that I could help her with some QuickBooks things and um, just been working a lot and taking Teddy for a walk. And I'll do a separate video, but I'm having my backyard rota tilled. The gardener just left. He's so wonderful and kind. And we just had a terrible overgrown tree trimmed in the backyard and he rota tilled the backyard today because all my grass died during the drought here in California and now he rota tilled and he's putting some sculpture sculpted earth in there and then I'm going to put a little bit of sod in there and get my flower beds built up again so did you all get that <laughs> too much information <laughs> anyhow I just wanted to go over some empties with you and that's my other spiel so here we go um, I finished an old clam of Dexter Pores. It's fall, y'all. This was great. Still really strong. Gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus fir, and balsam. That was really good. I finished an old Dexter Pores coconut shortbread cookies. That was also excellent and still strong. These are got to be like three years old. I finished this beautiful piece. Now, can you see that website there? Pumpkin Seed Wax bathco.com she's on etsy this is my very 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 favorite crisp autumn air no one really makes anything quite like this except her she's lovely um i've ordered from her quite a bit for the last couple years i just reordered some more of this crisp autumn air it smells so good just the leaves it's just so pungent and crisp and smoky and that was just going happily in my kitchen yesterday so pumpkin seed wax and bath co. I'll put the link in my description down there. I did in my kitchen milk of the poppy a couple days ago. And that's Teddy B's Palo Santo and the richest, creamiest, yummiest vanilla. This is from March 2023. I chopped this up and put this in a few warmers in my kitchen. This did so gorgeously. And... Um, I was very, very happy with that. Hadn't melted milk of the poppy before. It was beautiful. I finished some shamrock shake from Vintage Chic in my bedroom the other day. This is from 22 Mint Cream Vanilla Swirl Milkshake topped with whipped cream. That was very pretty. Um, I did a piece of Izzy Dead from the Pharmacist Daughter. Cardamom Cream Zucchini Bread and Pumpkin Chai. It's, it got kind of yucky inside, but still good to the last scraping of wax very beautiful yummy i did some spirit seance embeds welcome to dead house site overpour from vintage chic spice pumpkin bear claw cinnamon glaze baklava bear claws zucchini bread bakery very yummy i finished some carbs with ghoul friends from rose girls one of my very favorites pumpkin sugar donut cookies bread vanilla noel vanilla wafers monster cookie marshmallow smoothie love that I finished this giant snappy of um, chestnuts and brown sugar from Dessa's. That was gorgeous. 
Sassy Girl Aroma. I'll get by with bread. I love that. I would definitely get that again. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's just so yummifying. I finished some Honey Soda Co. Another old school favorite vendor of mine. They're in Chico, California. I've mentioned them often. Uh, HoneySodaCo.com. Home for the Holidays. Fir Trees. Orange Peel. Cinnamon Clove and Fireside. This is so good. This is... She does candles, too. This is really, really, really good wax. Check it out. Honey Soda Co. Pumpkin Crunch Cake. Uh, this is from 2021. This did crazy good still. Pumpkin pie filling, yellow cake, warm spice, and toasted pecans. Little sample of tobacco from L3. That was great. Cali Comfort. I don't know what's in there, but it sure smelled good. I did that the other day. Little sample. Very Kind of fresh laundry-ish, but still awesome. Holiday cookie tray, Sassy Girl Aroma, Sweet Buttercream Caramel Almond Orange Sugar Cookie, Coconut Shavings, Vanilla Icing, Vanilla Cream, and Milk. Yum, 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 yum. That was a great one. Another Vintage Chic Headless Horseman Embeds, The Great Pumpkin Overpour, Pumpkin Cheesecake Filling, Ginger Snap Crust Whipped Cream, Pumpkin Layer Cake, and Cream Cheese Frosting. Yum, yum, yum. Ocean Waves. I just finished this today. Ocean Air Honeysuckle Yuzu some, oh, something flower and sea salt. Pharmacist Daughter. I don't know if you guys can see what that is, but this was good. Good. Ocean Waves. It was like a, like a ocean, it had like a thick chunk with like ocean waves carved into it. It was great. This is Britta's Mornings at Crystal Lake, Coffee Addiction, Barnwood, Fire Roasted Marshmallow. That was another favorite. A little sample of Pinstripe from That Smell Good Shop, Pistachio and Sugar Cookie. That was nice. I finished my beloved K Dune Grass Library and Mahogany Teak. That was a good blend. She did another blend for me, Carla. Um, it was Dune Grass, Sea Salt, and Mahogany Teak, which also was another vendor does something similar to that. Um, but I just changed it up a little bit in a different blend and had her put Library in instead of the Sea Salt. Still gorgeous. And I need to get more cut bag of this and the Dune Grass, Sea Salt, and Mahogany Teak wood one. Let me tell you. <laughs> God, these are so good. I love Carla so much. I just got an order from her. I'll do that in a separate haul separate video. Um, Ghost Brunch Honey Soda Co. Another goody goody. Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, Cinnamon Rolls, and Maple Pancakes. Um, and you can see her website there. But I don't, I don't remember. There's no pour date on here, but it was really good. I mean, so rich. This reminds me of Traverse City's Pumpkin Pecan Milkshake. That one's a little bit different, but this is very similar to that. Just that really rich, creamy, creamy um, pumpkin smell. I finished off a beloved clam, I mean bar, uh, of Sensi's Saint's Snickerdoodle. I wonder if I can get this again. Does anyone know? Alexis, Natalie, Charity, is this going to be offered again? I have some left, but oh my gosh, I just love that one so much. Bad Santa from L3. I finished off this old bar of Sensi's Roll of the Dice whatever this was it's a nightmare before christmas one super good really green and fresh i really like this this was so good i don't remember where i got that but it was so good some wonderful person gave that to me dexter pours lemon blueberry crumble this i might have shown you guys this already but this was super good citrusy sweet lemon juicy blueberries and vanilla cake this is so it's 30A now, but this is a newer clam that I got before she changed her labels. This is Darian's Mother Teresa, which it's now 30A. Um, so this was before she changed her label recently. This was really, really a good blueberry lemon blend. I finished off some Wicked Potion from Scoopables. Marshmallow Fireside type blended with espresso. That was really good. A little scoop sample. This beautiful, beautiful sample I got in my recent order from Kirby with Vintage Chic. Um, Bert and Ernie, Satsuma, Blueberry, Lemon Lime Fizz topped with Orange Whip. This just blew up in my bedroom and just was so fresh. It, it was hot here for a couple days last week. 
So I just needed, I'm wavering between fall and a little bit of summer fruitiness still, but this was so good. If you see Bert and Ernie, it was really, really something. I finished off this nice snap bar from 2022 of Made to Melt Donuts at My Party. This is a beautiful bakery. If you haven't tried Made to Melt, her wax is great. I just got a Halloween sampler from her. I'll do the separate video on that. Um, I just finished some Super Tarts Chomper. Sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, and mac apple. Um, this blend, the things in here, is similar to another... Shoot, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, another um, blend that she does. Not, not with mac apple, though. Um, I'm, it's escaping me, but... If anyone knows what I'm talking about or some another vendor that does a blend like that. Sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, pear, but not mac apple. But that was super good. Super good. What else do we have? Lastly, I have some Zape, Georgia pear. I did a clam of that. Um, I have the body care. I have the body spray. This is so beautiful. I love this wax. I love Zape. The body spray is gorgeous. I have the, the whipped meringue body lotion, too. And um, that's kind of it, everyone. I will do a separate video on my K and my pumpkin seed wax and my made-to-melt. And what else did I want to share with you? I got this wonderful fabric. Check this fabric out that I got online. This is a pattern. Look how cute the scarecrows and the little pumpkin wagon and the, the little house. So I had this already in a tablecloth and some napkins. And which is a different kind of fabric, more of a woven, like, I don't really have one here, but. So I went on eBay. Carol Enders is the artist who does this type of folk art fall stuff. And I found this piece of fabric. Somebody on eBay was selling. She, um, she, I got such a good price on this, but I absolutely love this pattern. I'm probably just going to use it like as a runner or something, but isn't that just so cute? I love rustic, vintage, uh, old school things like that for fall, Christmas, whatever. So that was a really good find on eBay. And I think that's it, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. I don't know if you saw my video this morning. I t took Teddy to the lake about five miles from my house and he just got his hair cut. He just got groomed and he is so, he is so happy with himself. He's just so zoomy, zoomy dog with his cute haircut and his little blue bow on his collar. So thank you all so much for subscribing. Um, I had so much fun doing the bingo live with Charity and Natalie and I'm sorry that Alexis couldn't make it, but she was of course there in spirit. It was so much fun and such good therapy and I look forward to doing that again with them I mean it was just such a blast um, so thank you ladies for including me in that and I hope to see you all again soon thank you for tuning in bye